Welcome to the video series of MolBio Explained in 3 minutes where I explain a concept in molecular biology in less than 3 minutes or so. Today we'll talk about the multi-TOF mass spectrometry experiment. This measures the mass of the molecule. This is really useful for peptide identification from a clinical and a biomedical point of view. This technique is super useful. So if we break the term, there are two important terms in this mass spectrometry. One is MALDI that stands for matrix associated laser desorption ionization and time of flight which is also abbreviated as TOF. So let's try to understand what is matrix associated laser desorption. It's a ionization strategy. In mass spectrometry we need to ionize the sample and MALDI is one of that strategy. In time of flight we measured the mass of the particle so it's kind of like a mass detection strategy so let's try to understand MALDI first we are looking at the particular uh, sample plate on the sample plate in blue you can see these are matrix molecules whereas the pinks are the annihilate molecules laser falls on the matrix and it excites particle to get ionized from this matrix so if we look at this process in a bit more details, we would understand that it's, it's a soft ionization technique which does not harm biological molecules and hence appropriate for biological sample. So here is a laser hitting the matrix. It would allow the desorption of annihilate molecules along with the matrix molecule. Matrix molecule would eventually transfer protons to it and ionize these biomolecules. Once ionized, it would be entering the mass detector for its analysis. Now this is a soft ionization method which is really good for biological specimen. It is cost effective and easy to perform. Now let's try to understand the time of flight aspect. This is a strategy to detect the mass of the particle. So if we look at the inside part of the TOF analyzer we can see here is a matrix which is localized which is having the sample just on the top of it there is a long tube which is known as flight tube and the end of the flight tube there would be mass detector and in the screen you would see the mass by charge ratio displayed whenever there is a detection happening so let us break this process and understand it bit more in bit more details so let's say the samples are ionized and they are entering the mass detector now depending upon their size the time of flight would also be different the particles which were heavy would take more time to reach the detector compared to a light particle and simple uh, laws of conservation of energy would be used to understand or derive the mass by charge ratio let me tell you how these charged particles would be accelerating through this tube under the influence of an electrical field so imagine the electrical potential energy for this would be Z times EV where Z is the charge of the annihilate molecules, E is the charge of electron and basically V is the voltage that we apply across this tube. Now kinetic energy of these particles which are flying would be half mv square where mass denotes denoted by m and V is the velocity. Now as per laws of conservation of energy these two would equate to each other. Now let's say that tube length is L and the time of flight is T. Then the velocity of the particles would be V equal to L by T. Simply distance versus time. Now we can modulate this equation into ZEV equal to half M. Instead of V square it would be L by T square. Now from this particular equation if we rearrange it a little bit we would get the mass by charge ratio m by z ratio which would be 2 e v times t by l. Now v is the voltage that we apply so we know the value. L is the length of the tube so it is fixed and the time of light we analyze in this detection method and just by analyzing these parameters we would understand what is the mass by charge of the annihilate particle. That's the overall physics behind this particular technique. Now let us talk about the applications of MALDI. It would be used in biomedical research, clinical diagnosis, pharma industry, metabolic profiling, food safety analysis, environmental analysis and many more. 
there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages about it for example it is reliable for rapid identification of peptides it is high throughput it is easy to prepare the sample for this mass spectrometry but there are disadvantages as well because initially the machine cost a bomb secondly there it, it requires skilled operators to operate this machine for proper functioning but anyway multi-top is really useful tool in molecular biology especially for proteomics metabolomics and post translational modifications you can get more notes and flashcard in my facebook channel follow us in the facebook or instagram all the links are in the description anyway my handle is provided as well you can support the channel using super thanks and see you in next video